Well, good morning, everyone. It's November 24th, 2023. Today, Vitol and I are going to get a few segments of the Adirondack Railroad on its trip from Utica to Thundera, which is just outside of Old Forge, New York. Today's trip and tomorrow's will be the last two trips of the year on the Adirondack all the way up to Thundera. They will have more activity of course for the Polar Express which runs up to Holland Patton and back 24 miles round trip. Specifically today we're going to check out something that John Taby mentioned in his new book on the Adirondack Railroad an interesting cattle pass located in Forest Port and I'll tell you more about that cattle pass when we get up there I'm thinking that uh, Vitold and I are going to be under the tracks when the train heads over hopefully we won't have to move over for anything it looks like the cattle pass has been out of operation so to speak for many years there's an interesting story about it the railroad of course was built in 1892 and there as a foundation for the cattle pass John writes that uh, this is a rather ordinary cattle pass that had served the Nichols family farm but its rail supported floor makes it noteworthy the rail is marked Barrow Steel 1874 55 informing us that it was rolled by the Barrow Company in Hinpool England in 1874 the 55 pound rails continue to do their job quite satisfactorily so let's see how that sounds, what that pass looks like, and how it sounds when a train ra rolls overhead. A be told is game. So this is the first crossing out of Utica. We're just about a third of a mile north of Union Station. Looks like they left just about on time. It's a little after 10 a.m. is Washington Street these folks will do some Christmas shopping up in Old Forge this is a Christmas and Old Forge special To the right is Adirondack's new engine house. As most of you could probably figure out, I'm now 16 miles north of Utica. I hear them in the distance. We'll catch them going past here and then move along a little farther north to the Cattle Pass. These are the rails of the Mohawk, Adirondack, and Northern Railroad. The Adirondack has trackage rights over this road for 23 miles out of Utica until Remsen Snow Junction 
when the Adirondacks home rails are reached. Well, here we are at the Old Cattle Pass, built in 1892, when the railroad was constructed. Here's a look at that rail that was rolled in England. Let's head down to the pass. Time to move along, be told. Let's hope, hope there's no stampede. That would put us in the horns of a dilemma for sure. I will say that be told was a tad reluctant to head into the cattle pass, but we'll go back up again. So here's a look at the roof of the cattle pass, which is made up of those old rails rolled in England, as mentioned earlier. Of course, this cattle pass became necessary because back when the Adirondack Railroad was built in 1892, they had to go through the this farm. Farmer said, okay, you're going to go through my farm. You're going to build a pass that my cows can go through in order to get from one side of the farm to the other. And again, these rails were rolled in Penpool, England, way back in 1874. Be interesting to know where they railroad in 1892 got these rails from, but they've been here a long time. So far, no cows. But we told is a bird dog, not a herding dog, so. I don't know what he'd do if he saw a few cows come through right now, but of course this farm has been out of operation for many, many years. So from underneath the Adirondack Railroad in a 
cattle pass in Forestport, New York. This is Railroading Rambler and VTOLD saying out for now.